Hey guys, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, fairly new Paddy Adaptive Techniques uh, specialty course. Um, we've been teaching it for a bit now, but there are a lot of questions that I get from uh, interested participants and from third parties uh, who, who still have some questions about the program, so I thought it would maybe be wise to clear that up. Um, the first thing we should understand is that the Adaptive Techniques program is not for the um, physically challenged diver who wants to uh, enroll in a program. The Adaptive Techniques program is for certified divers or dive professionals who want to learn how to dive with or guide or teach divers who may have challenges. Um, so that leaves the question which program is for the physically challenged diver. Um, the regular PADI curriculum. So Discover Scuba Diving, Scuba Diver, Open Water Diver and all the continuing education courses uh, exist the way they are and as long as people are medically cleared to enroll in those programs, challenge divers can enroll in that program and attempt to uh, find a way to meet the exit requirements of each program. So for some divers that's going to mean maybe discover scuba diving under the guidance of a professional is sort of the, um, the, the ideal and maybe the only way to, to scuba dive. For other divers, let's say somebody is uh, a, an amputee, maybe missing an arm, they could probably perfectly find ways to become open water certified and so on uh, with a few uh, modifications um, to what are maybe the typical ways of, of meeting a skill requirement. A second thing that needs to be understood about the Adaptive Techniques Specialty Program is that there are actually two certifications. There is the PADI Adaptive Support Diver certification and there is the PADI Adaptive Techniques Specialty certification. So for whom is the Adaptive Support Diver? That's for open water certified divers and up who have a, a CPR and first aid certification. They can enroll in the specialty program and they can become adaptive support diver specialists. So let's say that our open water or advanced certified diver has a buddy who uh, has a challenge of some sort but is a certified diver. Being an adaptive support diver will better prepare and, and arm the, uh, the certified diver to team up with their buddy and cater to their specific challenge. So they can essentially form a more effective team and be safer in the water. On the other hand, the Paddy Adaptive Techniques specialty course is catered towards dive professionals, so dive master and up, um, who um, you know want to want to learn techniques of thinking outside of the box, of maybe performing skills in ways that aren't obvious, but that still allow challenged divers to meet requirements. Uh, why dive masters and up? Because essentially, you know, conducting reactivate program or, or other tune-ups. Uh, or guiding divers or conducting additional discover scuba dives, um, these techniques would allow them to cater to divers who have challenges where the ways of meeting requirements isn't very obvious. This also means that instructors who are paddy adaptive techniques specialty instructors can instruct other instructors, are you following, on how to use these techniques in their courses. There's a couple of areas that the course focuses on, so it's divided in knowledge development, confined workshops and open water workshops. Um, and the idea is essentially to, first of all, create an awareness and an understanding of the different types of challenges, be it physical or cognitive, and uh, to work through ways to, um, to, to dive with, to assist, to guide, to teach uh, divers who have challenges. The, the main areas of focus as far as the skills go would be uh, amputee, paraplegic uh, and blind. That was what I sort of saw as the, as the main components. Talking about a lot of lifting techniques, uh, transfer techniques, so how to enter and exit the water, how to get the equipment on. So the next question that I can see people asking a lot is, well, should somebody who is uh, physically challenged be diving in the first place? Um, I think you guys know, if you've seen the vlog a little bit, my answer to that is absolutely yes. As long as you're medically cleared by a physician to partake in scuba diving activities, 
Um, and as long as you are doing so with people who know what they're doing, so responsible professionals who have adequate training, there are many ways to, um, to either meet requirements for certain programs or to be in experienced programs such as Discover Scuba Diving under close supervision and, and do something that is quite challenging and that is actually quite an accomplishment. Um, the, 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 the challenge, the, the disability that I get the most questions about is usually uh, for, for divers who are blind. They say, well, why would somebody who can't see want to scuba dive? And the answer is, is, pretty, uh, is pretty interesting. We've had several visually impaired divers coming through the college uh, and the, the answer is always the same. Even though they don't see anything, they can't necessarily appreciate, uh, let's say, the, the fauna and flora that we have underwater. The sensation of weightlessness, of being suspended, of, of floating, you know, almost that sort of zero gravity-ish experience that, that most scuba divers like is, is absolutely maximized for somebody who can't see. Uh, the amount of trust that is required from the visually impaired diver to essentially trust another human being with their life for 45 minutes, however long the dive is, uh, that's a huge step, but it's also a huge mental accomplishment to be able to give that trust to somebody because a lot of the course is about um, empathy training, so letting the students uh, or the candidate try what it feels like to be in that situation. So what does it feel like when you can't use your legs on a scuba dive? What does it feel like when you can't see? What does it feel like to remove and replace a BC on the surface when you're missing your right arm? Uh, and, and that there is huge value in that training. I would personally say, if you asked me, is this course for you? I would say, I think it's pretty much for anyone. If you have empathy, which I hope you do, and if you're passionate about scuba diving, and if you're passionate about sharing your passion for scuba diving, uh, then I think possessing the, the knowledge and the techniques to work with people, to, uh, to experience uh, a similar sensation uh, as, as what you have when scuba diving is invaluable. The only sort of really big critique that I see people uh, potentially having going forward is it's a fairly short program, it's not super, super, super in-depth, but, um, you know, Paddy's philosophy in general with specialties anyway is that they're, they're not necessarily there to create experts, you know, in that area. So if you want to become an expert in training uh, challenge divers, definitely seek training with uh, an agency that is specialized in it. But if you are already a Paddy diver or a Paddy professional and you want to enhance your own knowledge and skills on this topic, 100% recommended.